Hi again! In this lecture, I'll show you how to make a country by population map. I uh, will be showing population of each country through graduated colors. So we'll think about a range of colors to represent population from low to high. And we have that piece of information in our wall.json file, which is stored in this pop2005 attribute. So pop2005 means population from 2005, which is quite old, but, but it shouldn't be a problem for educational purposes. So let's get back to the code. And the way to change the color of those polygons, because by default we have this green color, and there's also a transparency on the polygons, you can see. Uh, you can see the base map on the background and so to change that you need to access the style function argument but I have messed something here from the previous lecture which uh, could cause some problems later mm, this doesn't have to be in in round brackets so delete that and one here as well so we have one two three open brackets and three closing brackets now it should be fine mm, so we need to add another argument to geojson this is the first argument so data is the first argument which ends in here so add there another style function argument and you can actually break the line in here you are free to break lines in python uh, when the expression is inside uh, brackets, round brackets, square or curly brackets. So in this case, this expression is inside brackets, so we are able to break it. And it's good to break it at the comma. So style function equals to. Now this expects a lambda function. Lambda functions are just like functions, normal functions, but they are written in, in single lines of code. Uh, for instance, let's say L equals to lambda. This is a lambda function, x, x in power of 2. Oh, sorry, I had a typo there. Not lambda, but lambda. Okay, another typo. <laughs> All right. Uh, so L is a function here, just like you'd have a normal function. And then you can call L, you can pass a value like 5, and that will return 5 in power of 2. Uh, so as you can see, you can write the function in uh, one single line. And this can also be useful in other cases like this one in here that you'll see in just a bit. So lambda x. This also allows you to write anonymous functions. So this function now, it doesn't have a name. Like here, I, I assigned a name to this function because I needed to call it later. But this one here, we don't need to call it later. So uh, you don't need to give a name. So here, the syntax would be correct if I do just like that. So let's go ahead and do this. fill color with a capital C, lowercase f, uppercase C, and that would be in quotes, let's say, yellow. Now if you want you can leave it like that, so save the script, exit the python shell and execute the script. The execution went fine. Let me check the map, reload. And you'll see that the colors of the polygons changed to yellow. So that's how you can change the attributes of your JSON file. So to say, uh, basically you add another, um, basically you, you add an, this attribute, which is not in the JSON file if you search for it you'll find nothing. And so, 
Now you can play around with this by adding conditionals inside this dictionary. Such as if x properties pop 2005 is less than let's say 10 million so 10 1 2 3 1 2 3 so uh, what I'm doing here uh, is I'm saying that set yellow to fill color if X represent the feature a JSON feature here so if the properties actually if the pop 2005 attribute of this attribute of this attribute which is here this is pop 2005 I know this is a bit complicated uh, let me toggle soft wrap so now I have all the text wrapped here in the view and uh, here uh, pop 2005 is actually part of this dictionary up to here so this dictionary these are a set of properties uh, this dictionary is the value of this key of the properties key so what that means is that you know we are accessing the value of the property key using this syntax which is known in Python meanwhile uh, X properties what, what that is is X here represents features so you are uh, you are accessing properties from features and on the background I mean, this is a bit of a black box but volume what volume will do is it will go through all the features of all the polygons and it will check if the value of pop 2005 is less than 10 million and if it is then it will set this yellow uh, this color to fill color attribute that's uh, more or less about it i think it's better to put this green so if it's less than uh, 10 million put it green else orange if between 10 million do the same thing here properties actually you can break the code in here so properties pop 2005 and let's put here 20 million so these are just just arbitrary numbers you can put everything that you want but that will affect how your polygons are, are classified are colored so for population between 10 million and 20 million we'll get orange colors else red so everything above 10 million will be colored as red Okay, uh, let me I'll save this and I hope this will work. No errors. Reload. We have US colored in red because it has a population of higher than 20 million people. And yeah, yeah this seems to be working fine. Yeah, Portugal, yeah, Portugal has a population of around 12 or 15 million people, I'm not sure. So it's in the middle range of our classification algorithm. And yeah, that's more or less about it. And if you like, you can ask questions. And I'll be happy to help you. And I'll talk to you later. Thanks.